Hey guys, it's Jen with Mother Time. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm so excited to show you how to make this beautiful creamy rose heart wreath. I am swooning over these creamy roses. And can you believe these are from Dollar Tree? So this entire project costs about $7 to make. I use six bundles or bushels of these creamy roses. They have tons of different colors. I just love these. And then I used the heart reform also from Dollar Tree. And if you cannot find the heart reform, just use a round one and you'll get similar results. And then I just used some ribbon to make a little hook to hang this, or you could use some twine too. And it's just so pretty and so easy and so fun to make. I love this to decorate in the home or to give as a gifty too. So I'm so excited to show you how to make it. So let's get started. To begin, remove the roses off of the bundles. They easily pop right off, and I use exactly six bundles of roses for this project. Next, apply hot glue to the wire wreath form. With the heart wreath form, I like to start in the center. If you cannot find the heart wreath form from Dollar Tree, you could just use a round one. And now I'm gonna take one of the roses and pop it in the center of the wire, and the petals will adhere to the glue. And now I'm going to add the bottom row. So I like to do the top and then the bottom, and I'm gonna do this all the way around the wreath. And here we go. I'm just gonna add hot glue, then add a rose, and add some hot glue, and add a rose all the way around. And if you are on Instagram, I'd love for you to join me over there as well at Mother Time for daily inspo and DIY projects. Once you get on a roll, this takes under 30 minutes to make. It's just hot gluing and adding a rose all the way around until you get to the very end. And you could use any color roses. Dollar Tree has a variety of colors. I even think this would be pretty with using in an assortment of colors too. Okay, and I just added the last one and there it is. Isn't it pretty? And this is what it looks like on the back. To hang this, I'm just gonna add some ribbon. This is just a little ribbon I had in my stash from Hobby Lobby. You could even add some twine too. Now I added my ribbon in the center, but I was almost going to put the heart where it's kind of at an angle and just add the ribbon there, but I ended up just doing it in the center. And here it is all done. I absolutely love the way this turned out. I think this would be really pretty if you don't want to hang it like on a bookshelf too. So I hope you enjoyed this project as well. Thank you so much for watching.